You see 234 to 105, but Big 12 series, Baylor has the advantage there, and they've also won five out of the last six meetings. This has been very tight as of late. Keep a look at his lineup, and not a very typical offensive Steve Smith club, hitting 226 as a club. One guy who get, does get on base is Walton Lane, with Texas fifth in the latest RPI. We take a look at their lineup. They have been red hot. No one more than Trace Ferrer. There you go. Find it any way to get it done. And Texas usually very good when they score first. As Casey Clemens let's get that average up, 239. He's up at 374 on base percentage. He's shown some patience with 19 walks on the club. That's good for third. But you've seen some things mechanically with his backside. Explain the backside and what's wrong with it. Well, I'm just watching, and, and he's working on it every day. He just gets himself tied up a little bit on his backside. It would be his left elbow. At times, he gets he gets himself, see, get it up right there, try to keep it up. If you can keep that up, that's what he's trying to do is keep it up above his number. If you try to if he can keep that up here and not let that thing tuck underneath, then... He's going to have some lot more success. Close one one pitch, now two and one. Starting to heat up. Last seven games, he's played just a tremendous first base for Texas. That's what stood out to me when I watched him on YouTube or some of the summer games when he was in high school. One, he can pitch, and he has thrown a bullpen with Skip. So up down the road, you can see that. But defensively. Oh, he's he been outstanding excellent. in first base, and, and he's, as you mentioned, as he stepped in, he's done a good job of seeing a lot of pitches, forcing the opponent to throw a lot of pitches. But he's put himself in that position as he takes the walk, as he should. If you get to 3-1 and you get a hitable pitch, you've done so much work to get there, you know, pay off. Yeah. Both making sure they do not get any more. He held on. Texas leads by one off the mound and did got off quickly. Parker, I believe, could have gotten out himself and went over and tagged the runner, but Sid got there quick enough that Clements gets back at the back. But you see that pitcher throw 10 or 12 pitches and he's having a tough time. Is this a perfectly placed bunt? There's absolutely nothing that Gerwitz could do with that. Senior from the south side of Chicago. Well, you do this by driving to the ball and Peyton does it, comes up with it, makes a good crow hop and comes him down. Well, this is a bullet right at Gerwitz, and he has the presence of mind to come up with it, and a good turn by Marlowe just to get it. Three and one. Three and one. Count runs four. Caught him looking. Clemens thought he had ball four. Routine ground ball. This is to left, snagged by Ben Carl, going to try and double up Carter. You don't anticipate the ball going that direction. He tries to go back across the time. Beaten last night, and everything was set up, and he just took it the other way. Well, everything worked. Advantage Texas, you got the runners in motion. That's the first advantage. You go away from Mark Payton. He sinks six or seven pitches in at bat. It's usually going to make pretty good contact. Marlowe's able to score from...